Hey, this is Danny, you and me living free. And uh, let's start out with just a little bit of story time. I'm taking my first trip in the van in months and months and months. So I was out on the road for 18 months or so almost, uh, back and forth to Kansas City. I shared a bunch of that stuff. Then it was time to come back and get a job. Things on the road didn't work out how I had planned. I thought, who knows, maybe I'll be a YouTube person and I won't have to work. And then that didn't happen. And then I was like, no, I'll get a nomad job and I'll keep traveling that way. And that didn't really work out either. And so here I am. So I live, I'm living back in Kansas City. I am uh, working full time, but I have a lot of time off. Uh, I get about six weeks a year. And so uh, I'm, I'm, my plan is to do a few bigger trips uh, throughout the year and then a bunch of little ones on weekends and things like that and to just still uh, to keep enjoying my van. So, so I was out on the road and everything. Then I wasn't using the van for like months. I got a mouse in the van. I documented that whole saga. You can go back and look. Anyway, hopefully that situation's taken care of. I'm taking preventative measures so it doesn't happen again and lots of great feedback and everything from all of you on that. So now that I'm working, I'm, I'm trying to take small trips in the van, but there was this huge matter of getting the van ready to travel again, especially after the mouse had been here. And so I needed to completely strip down the van to the bare bones again and clean everything and then put things back in and replace some things like pillows and things like that. And, um, and it was an arduous process. And on top of like working 40 hours a week and, and all the obligations of kind of living life as, as you're just living and you have a home that you have to take care of and you have, and I live in an apartment, but you know what I mean, a, a place you have to take care of and then you have to work and then you have to drive back and forth to work. And there just all those things in life, you know, shopping lists and cleaning up and all those things that we have to do in life. I didn't have the energy or the extra capacity to do it. My kids volunteered to help me. So I'm going to share a few pictures of just the van and kind of what we went through to get it ready. And then I'm going to share my trip out here to uh, Lake of the Ozark State Park, which is where I am now. And so, uh, so let's get into it. Let's look at these pics. The first pic is of my closet and my apartment, just showing you that I had a bunch of van stuff in the apartment. Here's more van stuff I carried into the apartment. So right now I've got van stuff in the apartment. I've got some out in the van. It's just a mess. Everything's just thrown around. It's like half full. This is still at the point where everything's all dirty and everything. So my, with the help of my kids, because my apartment is on the third floor, we carried everything up the two flights of stairs and deposited it all in the living room. They took my van and cleaned and cleaned and scrubbed and vacuumed and sanitized and did everything to the van itself while I took all the objects that had been in the van and I washed and I scrubbed and I threw away and sanitized and did all that. So then we end up with kind of the baseline of here's the van. Um, it doesn't have any food or anything in it, but it's basically ready to go. That is an exciting time, but I had to get back to this baseline before I could even think about taking another trip. So I have a three day weekend. I'm planning to come to the Lake of the Ozarks. I make my reservations at Lake of the Ozarks State Park Campground and I just threw everything in the back of the van. Now normally I would take in my little bins, arrange my clothes in there, um, put my food in the back, but I literally just went to the store, got what I needed, and threw everything in the back because I kind of hate trip planning and stuff, and I'd rather just get where I'm going and then unpack and do everything then. So this is coming into the park. I'm heading to the beach so that I can show you what that's like, and um, here we go. So we're walking up to the beach. You can probably already hear all the commotion. This is definitely an area for families with kids. Um, if you are a solo traveler who likes a lot of peace and quiet, this is probably not the best place for you. And I'm counting myself 
<laughs> in that population. <laughs> There is another beach on the other side of the park or on a different area of the park. So I'm going to go check that out later today because it's going to be 85 and humid and I'm definitely going to need to get in the water, but hopefully it won't be here. Now, if I didn't show you any of the noise and just showed you this picture, you might think, oh, what a nice place to go. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's not nice. It's just a lot. And if you know, you know. One cool thing about this park, there are deer everywhere. Here's a few right here in the, as I was driving up to my campsite. Um, they're everywhere. I, I can't drive anywhere without seeing um, deer, at least one or three or five always hanging around. But anyway, thank you a ton for still being here to the end. If you made it to the end, let me know in the comments. Thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. I love you. I need to do new slides, those purple slides that I do at the end that shows um, all the people on Patreon. I need to do new ones, but I haven't. So I love you. Thank you for being here. I will catch you next time. I'll have another update on Lake of the Ozarks.